Hi everybody, this is Erica Knoll, and today we are going to make some mango salsa. Now this is something that I discovered <clears throat> a couple of years back. I had thought when I heard of mango salsa, what the heck kind of salsa is that? Salsa is supposed to have tomatoes and jalapenos in it. But when I tried it for the first time, it was amazing. I could not believe that you could make salsa with mangoes. Um, and this one, I discovered it, um, that you can make this salsa and you can put it on several different things. Um, one thing you can put it on is if you are making carrot dogs, and you know, instead of hot dogs, because hot dogs are so unhealthy, and you can make carrot dogs, and they're not quite the same, but seriously, they are really, really good. And so, um, the carrot dogs, when you put the mango salsa on them, that just sings to your taste buds. So I'm not gonna make the carrot dogs tonight, but I am gonna make the mango salsa. And one of the things I discovered is that after we made the, the carrot dogs for our family and we had the mango salsa on the carrot dogs, we had some salsa left over because I had made a lot. Um, I have a lot of basil in the garden, so I love basil recipes. And so the next day I was like, what do I do with this leftovers? And I just thought, well, I'll just combine them with some black beans. And that was fabulous. And so now that's actually my favorite way to eat this mango salsa is mixing them in with black beans. And that gives it a, a weightiness that lasts and it, and it just brings brightness to it. It's just a fabulous, bright, a little bit spicy recipe. Now you can leave the spice out if you really don't like the spice because um, we use chipotle peppers that are in adobo sauce. It's a little bit spicy. I like that. If you don't like the spice, you can leave that ingredient out. But the rest of it, super yummy, super delicious. I hope you enjoy this. The salsa is done, and I've got my beans rinsed and drained. So this is fabulous. I eat this for lunch. And literally, uh, not quite that many beans, like half, about half a can of rinsed beans, and then I'll put the rest of them in a baggie to use for something else the next day. And then the salsa, it keeps for a few days in the fridge. I, ooh, lovely. Uh, pepper there, chipotle pepper with the adobo sauce. And this just adds, adds life. It's a raw salsa that just adds life to those beans. And the mango it has the great enzymes to help you digest. And I put almost as much or more salsa as I have beans, honestly. And this, this will keep in the fridge for a few days. And so then it's just beans and mango salsa, and it is fabulous. I absolutely love this recipe. I hope you will love it too.